Cindy, and I'm a graduate student here at the ASU School of Human Evolution and Social Change. And today, I'm going to be talking about stone tools. Hi, my name is Alexa. I am a student at ASU. And I'm Madeline. I'm an undergrad at ASU. Uh, and I'm John. I'm a PhD candidate at ASU in archaeology. Our human ancestors have been making flaked stone tools for around 3 million years. These tools are made by striking a rock, which we call a core, with some sort of hammer. Now this hammer can be another harder rock, like I have here, or it can be organic material, such as bone or antler. And when you strike the core, and the angle of the strike and the application of the force is just right, a sharp edged flake pops off. And these flakes are usually what we're talking about when we talk about flake stone tools. Here, we're going to be talking about a very specific technique of making stone tools called the Lavawa technique. The Lavawa technique is named after a suburb in France where in the 19th century, archeologists found a distinctive kind of core, which looked a bit like a tortoise shell. And they're associated with really standardized uh, flakes, which we often call Lavawa points. In the 200 years since their discovery, scientists have learned a lot about the distribution of these cores and flakes. They're found across much of Africa, Europe, and Asia, and they date from between 300,000 to around 50,000 years before present. And they're made by our closest relatives, the Neanderthals, as well as by our own species, Homo sapiens, and maybe even by the mysterious Denisovans. Lavawa cores look a bit like tortoise shells because they have two domed surfaces. An upper striking surface is shallow, sort of like the belly of a tortoise. And the lower surface is rounder, much like the back of the tortoise. Lavawa cores are shaped like this because the angle of these surfaces help tool makers to strike regularly shaped standardized flakes that are long, wide, and relatively thin. And these target flakes are struck off this shallower surface. Now, normally to make a stone tool, you need uh, the appropriate raw materials and these raw materials have to have the right properties like chert, flint, or obsidian. However, we wanted to show you how to make your own Lavawa core at home. Um, and it's actually easier than it sounds. All you need is a sharp knife, a potato, and a cutting board. Okay, now we're ready. We have our potato, our knife, and our cutting board. And we're ready to make our very own potato lavawa core and flake. So remember that the lavawa core is very distinctive because it has this shallow domed top and a more rounded dome at the bottom. And that's what makes it look like the tortoise. And that's what we're going to replicate with our potato. So the very first step is, and this would be the same as if you were actually striking stone. If this was a rock, we would call it a nodule. And what you would do is you would take the hammer stone and you would strike at the edge. And we're just replicating that by cutting. So the very first step is we want to take uh, about a 70 or 80 degree angle and just start off our nodule. take that off and then you just keep going because we want to make that rounded bottom. Just want to go around and start making that very distinctive core shape. Uh, 
maybe I'll take a little bit more off here. That's pretty good. And you can see it looks sort of like the coral we were looking at earlier, this more rounded bottom and this slightly domed top. And remember that the slightly domed top is the striking surface where we're actually going to be trying to take our flakes off of. And so the very, the, what we have to do with that now is we have to make that kind of shallower dome. And what we do is we want to take shallow flakes off the top. And if we were doing this with an actual uh, stone nodule and flakes, we would strike them like this and they would just come off the top. And we're just going to replicate that with our knife. Now be careful. And you want to be pretty close to the surface uh, of the skin of your potato, or if this was a stone nodule, we would call it the cortex. You just want to take shallow flakes off the top, sort of like that. And you just want to keep going. Uh, maybe a little deeper on. Oh. There we go. You just want to keep going around your potato, keep taking flakes off. Um, and we're cutting it kind of weirdly inwards because we're mimicking the strike of the stone and the flakes would pop off like that. I just want to the angle is a little steep, so we want to make sure. And you want to make sure you're taking all of your potato peel off, um, like we said, because that's mimicking the cortex. And also later when you uh, fry up your flakes, which I will do later, but you don't have to, I guess. And you just keep cutting and you should end up with something Sort of like this. So you can see that domed, that slightly less domed surface and that more domed surface at the bottom, like we saw in the stone core. And uh, that's a little weird here, so we're just gonna. Okay. Now, that's pretty good. And what we want to do next is we want to prepare what we call our striking platform. So uh, when you hit the stone tool, there's a specific spot that you want to hit it at. And you want to make sure that's the, at the best position um, for what we want to do. So what we'll do is we'll make this kind of, we're going to make this kind of a more pointed shape. Um, we'll take off some flakes here. You can see how this is slightly pointed, and now we're ready uh, here. I'm just going to make this. Okay, now we're ready to take off our flake. And so this angle of this flake is going to make sure that we don't overshoot, and we want to try to get this flake off here. And so if we were actually napping this as a stone, we would hit it and we would hit it about here and the force would go through the rock and the flake would break off. And since we have a potato, we're gonna cut it. And so very carefully, we're gonna cut our potato flake. And there we go, our very own uh, potato lavawa point. And now this is officially a potato lavawa core. And now what you can do, and as, <clears throat> as many of uh, the Neanderthals and our ancient human relatives did, is you can, what we say, what we call rejuvenate the core. 
And that process involves taking those shallow flakes off this uh, flatter surface again so that we get that slightly pointed shape so that we can take this flake off again or a similar one. So we're going to go back in and we're going to rejuvenate this core. So you want to make sure that you're getting in there. That angle is too shallow. You want to make sure that it's still slightly domed and it can't be so that it's not too flat because if it's too flat, you're, you won't be able to take off the flake that you want because instead what will happen is that the entire, you'll be taking kind of a whole uh, front chunk of the potato off like this. Um, so you want to make sure that you rejuvenate your core. Sorry, this is really dangerous knife work, but uh, follow along and be safe at home. All right, so now you can see that we're slightly domed again here. And once again, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare our platform. So you want to make that shape. And then again, you want to take off, you want to go in and take off that top kind of rounded area. So as safely as you can, go in and just cut your flake off. And there you go. Here's your second potato lavawa flake. And you can see that they look pretty similar to one another. And that's the point. And then you can once again rejuvenate your core, take off another flake and rejuvenate your core. And eventually you just run out of raw material. Okay, so this is my core, and uh, from that, I, these are the two flakes that I got. This is oh, the nice. one, and this is the second one. Looks great. So here I have my core. I had a larger potato, so you can see it got flaked right here. And then here was where my second flake was, it was like this. And then this is that last smaller. Cool. This is uh, my core. So you can see this is the, the, the top flaking surface. And this is one of the last flakes I took off from the striking platform here. You can see it's got sort of a pointy, we would call that a sort of Lavalawa point shape. But you know, as you can see that, you know, we all started with sort of different shape nodules and things, and there's kind of a lot of variation in what kinds of flakes we took off, but that's also kind of how it is in the archeological record too, where oftentimes no two Lavalawa cores look exactly alike and the flakes, there's a lot of variation in the process too. So it's really neat. Cool. So if you followed along with us at home, um, hopefully you enjoyed our little demonstration. Um, and now you have a bunch of potato flakes and potato debitage, which is which are the little pieces of the potato that came off as you were making your flake. And what you can do now is uh, season up those potatoes and cook them up like I have. So you get nice and crispy potato lavawa flake uh, fries. Anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, spending some time with us making a potato lavawa core um, and have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.